Hi folks, so in this video I'm going to continue working on Breakout and Pygame. I'll run the code just to show how far I'd gotten last time. So you can see I've got the, uh, the blocks created in different colors with different strengths, and I've got the game paddle set up as well, which I can move left and right and it doesn't go off the screen. So what I want to focus on in this video is creating the game ball itself. So I'll do this as another class. I'll add a comment first, ball class, and then I'll create the class itself. Class game underscore ball, and then I can define the init function. This will take the self, and then it's going to take an x and a y argument. So now I will define some of the class variables. So first of all, I want to define a radius. So ball rad is 10 pixels, and then I want to give it an x and a y coordinate, because this is ultimately going to be treated as a rectangle for collision purposes. So self x equals x, and I actually want to move it over by the amount uh, by the radius. So x minus self dot ball underscore rat. This is just going to centralize the ball rather than having it offset to the right hand side. And then I can do the same and define self y, and then from these values, I can create a rectangle. So exactly the same as what I did with the paddle. Self x, self y. And the width and the height, because this is a, a ball, it's just going to be ball radius multiplied by 2. So I can type self, ball rad, multiplied by 2. And then I can copy this uh, for the height as well. Now we need to define speed, both in the x and the y direction. So self, speed x, I'll set this to 4. And self, speed y. I'll set to minus 4 because I want the ball starting off moving uh, up the way. So y needs to be in a negative direction. So now I can define a draw function. So again, the structure for this is very similar to what I've done with the paddle and with the wall. So this is going to be draw self. And I can actually just copy these because it's more or less the same thing, it's just instead of a rectangle, this is going to be drawn as a circle. So pygame.draw circle. I'm going to use, so it displays onto the screen, and then I'm going to use the same colors. So I'm not going to redefine them as ball color. I will just use paddle color. Okay, so now I can't use the rect as is, because that would have been a value for the rectangle. Instead, when drawing a circle, I need to define the x and y center point and then a radius. So the x and y center points are going to be the x and y coordinates of the rectangle plus the radius. That's going to get me to the middle of the circle. So self rect x plus self dot ball rad. And now for the y coordinate of the middle, it's going to be the same thing, but self rect y plus self ball rad. And then finally, I need to feed in the radius, which I've already got defined. So that will draw my initial circle. And uh, now I can draw the outline of it in the same way. So I'm just going to copy all of these coordinates here. And I'll put them in here instead of the rectangle. And I'll have the same outline of three pixels. Okay, so I have the draw function. I'm not going to do the move function just yet. I want to create an instance and I want to show this onto the screen first of all. So if I just come down here, uh, I've already created the wall. I've created the paddle. So create ball. And this is going to be ball equals the game ball class. And I need to now supply an X and a Y coordinate. And these are going to depend on the paddle position. So I can use the instance of the player paddle and just take the x value. But since I want it to be positioned sort of in the center of the paddle, remember this is going to give me the left-hand side of the paddle. So to this, I just need to add the half of the paddle width. So player paddle dot width divided by two. And that gives me the x coordinate and the y coordinate, again, it's going to be off the player paddle. So player paddle dot y, but I want it to be above it. So it's going to be player paddle dot height. 
Okay, so now I have the ball instance created. Now I can call the draw function within the code. So I've got all these drawn here. Draw ball. Ball dot draw, and this should now draw the ball onto the screen. There you go. So if I move the paddle around, well, I don't have any code yet to actually update this ball, so it's just going to sit where it is. Nothing happens to it. So that's what I want to add next. I'll come back into this class and I can add the move function. Self. And this is going to be quite straightforward. All I need to do is update the x and y coordinates of the rectangle by the x and y speeds. So I can just say self.rec.x increase by self.speedx. And now I'll do the same thing for y. And that alone should be enough to move this ball. So let's come down here and say ball.move and run the code. And straight away you can see it starts going in the direction that I had anticipated, but it just goes off the screen. So to address that, I can add in some initial collision within this move function. So I'm just going to search initially for collision with the walls. So check for collision with walls. And all I want to do is look whether the rectangle has gone off either left or the right hand side of the screen. And if it has, I just flip the X speed. So if it's moving to the right, it's now going to start moving to the left instead. So if self rect left, so the left hand side of the ball, if that's less than zero, meaning it's gone off the screen to the left, or self dot rect right is greater than screen width, meaning it's gone off to the right hand side of the screen. If either of these conditions are true, then all we need to do is just multiply speed by minus one. So if it's a positive x, then it becomes negative, and if it's negative, it becomes positive. It just flips direction. If I run this now, it bounces off the screen. It doesn't do anything at the top. That part is still missing, but that's easy enough to add in. And I'll add that in just below here. So check for, check for collision with top and bottom of the screen. Okay, so the code again is going to be very similar to that. So first of all, I'm looking for collision with the top. So if the top of the rectangle has gone below zero, meaning if it's gone off the screen to the top, then just flip the Y speed. Speed underscore Y uh, flipped. So it's minus one that it's multiplied by. But what if I go off the bottom of the screen? I don't want it to just bounce off there because uh, if it goes off the bottom of the screen, it means that the player paddle has missed it. So actually, that would be a lost point or a game over. So I'm going to handle that a little bit differently. So if I've gone off the bottom of the screen, i.e. the bottom of the rectangle has exceeded the screen height, then I have a different variable, which is going to be game over. And I will set this to negative 1. Uh, the reason for this, uh, I'll explain later as I add more game over conditions, but this defines the fact that the player is, is lost, as opposed to the game being over because you've destroyed all of the blocks. So now that I have this, I can actually return this outside of the move function. So I can add this down here, return self.gameOver. And now when I call the move function within the main game loop, I can get this variable out of it, and I can do anything I want with it, but I can define essentially if the player has lost. But because I've created this now, I need to come up here and first of all set it to zero. So when this ball is first initialized, game over should be set to zero. Okay, so I'll try running this again, and it should bounce off, bounces off everywhere, and then it goes off the screen. So that's pretty much it for this video. Uh, if you found that useful, then please leave a like, and if you want to stay up to date with more of these tutorials, then feel free to subscribe. Thanks for watching.